Hey guys, we've always learned that rain is the main source of water and we all wait eagerly for the rainy season. But did you know that the pollution created by humans has also led to the pollution of rainwater? Let me explain how this happens. When fossil fuels are burnt in factories and power plants or when aircrafts and motor vehicles release gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide into the air, all these gases react with the water vapor in the atmosphere they then form sulfuric acid and nitric acid. As a result, these gases become part of the rainwater and fall back onto the earth in the form of acid rain. Acid rain contains a very dilute amount of acids but is still capable of causing huge damage to living and non-living things. In fact, it is the presence of hydrogen ions in the acid that makes it acidic in nature. So when this acidic rainwater falls on plants, the leaves turn yellow and fall off. Likewise, a lot of agricultural crops are also affected. Acid rain makes the soil acidic and as a result, crops cannot grow fully. Besides this, acid rain also makes the water bodies acidic. As a result, such water becomes unsuitable for the survival of plants and aquatic animals. Furthermore, acid rain corrodes statues, buildings and monuments of historical significance. The acids present in the rainwater react with the carbonates present in the marble and limestone, corroding it slowly. Over a period of time, the marble object crumbles and is destroyed. One of the highly affected monuments is one of the eight wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal in Agra. Various industries established in and around Agra are releasing gaseous pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides through chimneys into the air. These pollutants are responsible for acid rain. The acids present in the rain cause the calcium carbonate present in the marble to corrode. Consequently, the pure white marble of the monument is now slowly turning yellowish in color. Pollution created by human-led activities is causing harm to our environment. Think about what you can do to save the environment and the world we live in. Until next time.